In this video, we are going to find the unknown, like A, B, C, a variable, when the area under a curve is given. You will find this on page 337 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Find the value of B given that the shaded region has an area of 4 units square. So that is the formula. It's between B and 0. There is the function and I integrate to dx. But now I give you the area. So just substitute that area in there. Still integrate. So I add 1. I divide 4. B and 0. And then I substitute. And then it's forming an equation. And if I take um, the fourth root... Um, but it's plus minus 2, but according to the graph, you can see it's on this side of 0, so it's positive 2. If it was on this side there, it would have been negative 2. Okay, um, I think number 1 is more or less exactly the same as the, the worked out example. So I think I'm going to let you do number 2. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to try to do it. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start. Find the value of k such that the two shaded areas will be equal. Oh, very important. So this one will be equal to this one. So here I have all the information. Here I have the unknown. But it's the same function. So let's first do it like this. Let's first find this one's area, and then just change, it's going to be, be a negative, then just change it to a positive, and then we can work with that to find this one's area. Okay, so let's, and this is the hint I gave you there. If I start with number two, okay, what is the function? The function is x squared minus 2x. Okay, now... I'm going to say the area, I just want to use another color, area, um, okay, well, let's say area between 0 and 2. So the area, it's that 2 and 0, and it's that formula. Okay, so I'm going to integrate. Okay, if I really want to just simplify this, just remember that twos cancel out. The rest is not, so I can even cancel it out there. Okay, then it's not necessary to write another step. So this is going to be 2 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 2 Oh, it's just going to be 2 squared. And this is going to be 0 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 0, um, 0 squared. If I simplify, this is 8 over 3 minus 4, and that will just be 0. So when I get it on my calculator, like ABC 3 minus 4 equals, and it's negative 1 and a third. But this is because it's below the x-axis. So let's just go on, remove it up. So area below the, um, so therefore, okay, I want to make it red. Therefore, area is positive one and a third. Okay, but now I know that this, if this is one and a third, this will also, so this was one and a third unit square, this will also be one and a third unit square. Okay, I think I'm going to make space. I could have left that equation just. Okay, so it was that y equals, because we're going to work with it again. So we're going to say area between 
2 and pi. So the area is equal to, and now it's k, it's the start, um, the end point, 2 is the beginning. It's still that equation, and I integrate to x. But I know this area now. Let's make it improper. Sometimes it's better. Okay, I'm going to, so this is going to be again over 3. Okay, I'm first going to write it. I will cancel it now, otherwise you think I forgot. And then I divide 2, and I don't forget that it's 2k and 2. Okay, so I'm going to keep the 4 over 3. I'm going to say k to the power of 3 over 3 minus, okay, remember the 2's cancel, k squared minus uh, 2 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 2 squared. That's going to be just simplifying now. Um, okay, let, let's leave it first like this. I could do it over oh, oh, pin pin. Okay, I can simplify this. This will be 8 over 3 minus uh, 4. So it's 8. And it's that, but don't forget, it's negative a third. Ah, one and a third. Negative one and a third. So it's actually going to become positive. So I, I'll first leave it like this. I'm doing it a little bit long. You can do it shorter. Okay. Okay, it's, so it's positive four over three. And now because the denominators, now I, I prefer to do it like this. Just times 3, times 3. I make all the denominators the same. And then if I multiply then by the lowest common multiple, 3, 3, 3, basically what will happen is all the 3's will just cancel. And I will end up with 4 equals k to the power of 3 minus 3k squared plus 12. Okay, let's just move it up a little bit. Okay, that is going to give me, um, I just want to see quickly if I made a mistake here somewhere. It's k to the power of 3 minus k squared plus a third minus a third. Okay. Okay, I see what was the problem. Sorry. Just going to go back. Um, the problem was... Why did I multiply that one with 3? It was already 3. And if it goes over, it will cancel out. Okay. So did you see that? So actually, I could have just say this, if it goes over, then this one, it will come as minus, but this 2 will cancel. So it's 0 equals k3 minus 3k squared. And then if I take out k, I factorize for k squared. Therefore, the value of k squared is 0, or k is 0, or k is equal to 3. And it, k cannot be 0, there is the 0, but there it can be 3. So, what will be my final answer? Therefore, oh, let's just go back. Therefore, k is equal to 3. And that's your final answer. It's not really that difficult. It's just manipulating the formula a little bit and using the knowledge of area and integration.